Anunnaki means seed of the prince, or even blood of the prince, which for the Sumerians meant that the Anunnaki were the children of Anu, or the descendants of Anu, the great god of heaven of the heavenly kingdom, the father of the gods, the king of kings. In heaven the boss is Anu, the father of the gods. With a strong personality, he imposed himself as the sovereign of Agade, the capital of the celestial kingdom. His most prominent children are his legal heir, Enlil, the firstborn Enki, and the wise Ninma. These three children are the leaders of Mission Earth, and form a triangle that reveals a social mindset of sex-loving relationships, very bold but nowadays, obsolete and incomprehensible to our moral standards. Although in Earth's past, everything was considered absolutely normal, Enlil, whose epithet means Lord of Command, is the most important leader on Earth. He speaks others obey, period, extremely severe. He accumulates administrative and military functions, and is the one who puts order in the house. If you don't do what you're supposed to, you get yourself into trouble. Enki, whose epithet means Lord of Earth, is the leading scientist in the genetic experiment that spawned the primitive worker. He's totally the opposite of Enlil. Enki does not deal with the everyday, but with the extraordinary. For him, deciphering the mystery of life is more important than respecting ethics, and now and then we will see him breaking the rules. By the way, he is an incorrigible womanizer. Ninma, whose epithet means High Lady, is the love disputed by the brothers, and the solid column on which both Enlil and Enki lean when things become difficult. She is the feminine wisdom always put to the test. It is the womb that brings to the world gods and men. It's the Great Mother. In fact, from Ninma came the diminutive Mamu, which gave rise to the word Mama Mom. The three lead, and always together, despite the differences, they face all the problems that, we can say, were many, and generally caused by their children and grandchildren in disputes related to the throne of Nibiru, or the domain of the earth. Among the children and grandchildren who stood out in this incredible mythological saga are Ninurta, Marduk, and Inanna. All the others are supporting, but no less important. Ninurta is the son of Enlil and Ninma. He is the firstborn born in Nibiru, so he is the legal heir to the throne after his father. He's a military man like his father, and a valiant warrior, perhaps as or more severe than Enlil himself. If there is an impossible and dangerous mission, call Ninurta.